so this is the porch to my house and as we look back uh, that is my garage uh, I have a system here in which I've been modifying it from the beginning as you can see I have one two three four big trash cans in a row uh, the first one is my clarifier the second one is my biofilter the other two uh, I just use them as clarifier before I pump the water out I have a UV filter in one of them uh, that drum that you see there is extra water that I have in there and as you can see there's another one over there I have that as extra water also uh, as you can see that bag of vegetables a bag of onions that's the me media I use for my biofilter I happen to work for Panda Express so when we're done with the bags for vegetables I'll take those with me uh, I bought all this equipment that you see here I got it through Craigslist <clears throat> although you see very big tanks uh, everything here I got it for $300 a guy was trying to get rid of it and I got lucky enough that I monitor sales and free items on Craigslist and I was able to snatch that opportunity uh, you just need to have the patience to do that yourself and you'll be successful because people put things that they don't want or they don't need anymore and you'll be able to take advantage of those specific situations. Uh, the tilapia that you see on this tank uh, were born in May 20th. And right there. Uh, that was my first batch. Soon after that, I, get, I, I guess I hit the sweet spot because I was able to uh, work it out with all the fish that they were getting pregnant or laying eggs pretty much every two weeks to every week to the point that I had to separate all of the males from the females because I was being too successful now at first it took me three months to get there testing the water every day checking the temperature every day the feeding, the lighting working things out uh, but once I was able to hit the sweet spot for those fish it was really simple to get the fish going uh, in this tank I just have some of the tilapia that uh, I, it, it came along with my first batch and the goldfish that I was using to uh, work the experiments because as long as I keep the fish alive I'm pretty much sure I can use the same system for the other ones so I had that male separator over there somehow he jumped under my little fence but I haven't bothered to take him back uh, this is another tank you see right here that's another one over there and this is another one over here this is a solid removal uh, I got that for 50 bucks. It didn't work. I just put another air stun in it and poof, it's working for me. So that that tank is not connected to anything. I have uh, 1,200 tilapia in 50 gallons of water. I have a biofilter, which I like to use the Pepsi bottles. Yeah, I drink Pepsi. Uh, I put two sacks in there, put an air stun, and I just let it rip. Uh, between that and the media in there, it works out fine. Before the, the solid removal, uh, I had a, it's actually a protein skimmer is the proper name. I had just two Pepsi bottles with media in it. And that's one of the females, uh, she's awesome. And my mom likes to come in and fit the fish and she likes to overfit and I come behind it and I throw it away but we're working with that because lately I'm traveling a lot and when I'm not here they're in charge so I cannot complain because they're helping me.
so everything is attached for those four gallons including this I have the overflows that I learned uh, trial and error online uh, and that overflows to the back with those two lines back into the drum I have a little uh, home filter that one that you can see in there I connected it there too it doesn't hurt uh, it just have a bunch of media in it I got that for 20 bucks in the Goodwill store everything that I buy has to be super cheap there's no way in heck that you can buy that tank for $300 let alone everything else uh, that is super expensive but with patience you can find a lot of things for cheap uh, and that's that's what it is that's what it takes just be patient if you don't know something ask somebody and practice writing on paper practice read about it and soon enough you you're gonna acquire the knowledge to start playing with this thing and then by making contact with people calling sending messages I sent a lot of messages to people that did uh, internet videos asking goofy questions and those are the questions that you have at the beginning there's no stupid questions just things that you don't know and because you don't know you have to ask somebody and a lot of people are more than willing to help you out a lot of people don't care because that's human nature but you have to overcome that get over it and continue look little by little I built this and I'm not I don't consider myself to be super smart on the contrary I have a, a learning disability so I know that I have to read things two and three times before I get it <clears throat> and uh, I've built this my wife is super impressed my friends are so impressed I even impressed myself that I actually finished all this uh, I have the line there with a small pump because my wife burned the big pump she let the tank empty and uh, my overflow here is nothing so I put another line in there just to make it work this big tank is completely independent it has a, its own bio filter, its own UV filter I just had everything connected because I want to have everything connected but I don't have the need for that one so and as you can see the water is crystal clear and there's a lot of fish there's a lot of fish but as you practice you learn you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna kill a lot of fish everybody does especially if you're starting from zero and you're learning to do this on your own and now they see me getting close and they just come here like crazy my mom overfears them, she loves to, and my wife loves to see them jumping like crazy. They're getting big enough that they pretending they're jumping. Uh, that's all I have, guys. Any questions, feel free to write me. Thank you.